Thanks for joining us this morning. I'm Adam Cooperstein, and the pro-Palestinian encampment at Columbia still there today, despite rumors of an NYPD sweep. Student protest over the Israel-Hamas war now growing across the country with encampments at 17 different campuses across the country. At the same time, many Jewish students voicing their concerns about anti-Semitism and harassment at schools. And we have live team coverage of the situation. Tracy Strahan at the CUNY campus in Harlem. But let's begin with News 4's Romney Smith at Columbia, where it all started. And Romney, students there refused to leave. We know that. We see the counter protesters behind you as negotiations continue. Where do things stand? Right now, I can tell you that hundreds of pro-Israel supporters came here right outside the gates of Columbia University, and what they were doing is letting not only the school know that they have very strong feelings on this, but also that Jewish students here have a support system and to call for the release of the hostages. Bring them home. Hundreds of pro-Israel supporters cheered and chanted as NYPD and riot gear were ready to respond to any incidents, but none happened. Tensions ramped up overnight as protesters and demonstrators yelled at each other through campus gates, but this morning, all was peaceful. Representatives from the pro-Palestinian encampment and university leaders presented their demands to each other. Students want the school to divest itself from any and all Israeli-backed entities with ties to Colombia and pardon any student who is suspended or arrested in connection to the pro-Palestinian demonstration. Many in attendance this morning saying they don't think college students fully understand the complexities and full history that led to October 7th. We feel that um, a group of students who maybe don't have all the information that they need are allowed to take over a campus and scare our Jewish students, and that's not okay. This is a result of the TikTok algorithm, and the more the, they click and click and click, and this is all that they see. It's 50 to 1 pro Hamas versus pro Israel. Israel is losing the TikTok war. Columbia University administration has told us they are hopeful a resolution can be reached soon. They have not announced any alternative means to clear the West Lawn to be used so that demonstrators won't interrupt finals or graduation at Columbia University. Again, it was a peaceful protest this morning. We are going to stay here. My coworker Gabi Acevedo will take over the story to see if any developments happening. Reporting live in Morningside Heights, Romney Smith, News 4 New York. Back yeah, to you. We're staying on top of it. We appreciate it, Romney. And let's continue our team coverage now live in Harlem. News Force Tracy Strahan is at the CUNY campus. And Tracy, we know there have been protests there as well. How's it look today? Well, beyond the gates here at City College, Adam, we can tell you there are about 80 demonstrators who remain in an encampment right near Baskerville Hall. And now they're asking workers from across the city to join them in an afternoon picketing protest to show solidarity with their movement. Oh, I had the chance to actually walk through the encampment here on City College with a student organizer. She says they have yet to hear from the university officials about after sending them five demands of that group, says the encampment is going to stay put until CUNY divests from Israel. Now, they're also pressuring the university to release a statement affirming the rights of Palestinian people and reinstating professors who've been fired for supporting the movement. Now, those demands also call for free tuition to CUNY schools. They say to give greater access to marginalized communities. Now, I asked how that demand was actually in line with Gaza solidarity. They said this. It's our responsibility, it's our moral obligation to stand up for Palestine. Um, and so all of our students, along with me, none of, you, none of us here are scared to be arrested. None of us are, sc are scared to be suspended. We're here to stand up for Palestine, for a liberated Palestine. Now again, the Solidarity Encampment here at City College has called on all city workers, including those who work for CUNY schools, to join them in picketing here at 2 o'clock this afternoon. And they're urging supporters to stand with them to pressure City College into giving in to their demands. And we have reached out to the university so far, and we haven't heard a response on where things stand when it comes to negotiations. So far, however, no arrests have been reported. We're live in Harlem this morning. Tracy Strahan, News 4 New York. You see, thank you so much. And we're going to stay with this, and you can stay with NBC4 for continuing coverage of the campus protests and get live updates anytime at NBCNewYork.com and the News 4 app.